Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Don't be distracted by that car alarm. That woman just turned her car alarm on. I don't know, maybe if she's afraid that maybe I am an undesirable hanging out looming over her vehicle or not. Or maybe she's afraid of these people on the segways riding parallel to Highway 192 in Kissimmee. I'm standing right here underneath this awning. This actually used to be the old American Gladiators Dinner Show Theater, which is over there. I did a vlog here with Matt from Matt's Rad Show about a year, year and a half ago. There's a helicopter place there in Old Town where I had the meetup about a month ago. It was right over there about a half mile down the road on the left. And I am curious, go on satellite view, figure out the name of this complex. Right here there's a church, the Rock Church. And I should do the intro. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo. Do you see that behind me? That looks something very fairy tale ish, almost Disney ish. We're very close to Walt Disney World. And I was noticing about a month or two ago, I was out here doing some shopping at some of the local thrift stores, and I saw this building, and it made me curious what exactly was that shop? It's been abandoned for a while, not the complex. The complex is actually still being used. But by looking in the window, it looks like that place has been closed for quite some time. But they actually still have the decor in the window, theme park-esque type stuff. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what this actually used to be. Something to do with the theme parks, Walt Disney World, and more importantly, old school Epcot Center. When I show you what's in the window, it's going to blow your mind if you are an old school Epcot fan, folk, or an old school Walt Disney World aficionado. Someone has broke the window right down here. Someone has obviously kicked it in. But look at this, some sort of a castle, probably supposed to be Cinderella's castle, a reproduction of Cinderella's castle at Magic Kingdom. And of course, also one of the four parks at the Walt Disney World complex is Epcot. And they actually have some of the old school Epcot logos inside the window. Look at this. As you can see, it's actually mounted on the wall. There's a little awning and it has a bunch of old school Epcot logos. And also, also against this wall, it got very, very bright there for a second, but also against this wall are a bunch of old Disney pamphlets, cartoons from newspapers, and other amusing anecdotes mounted on the wall. I wish I could go inside, but the door is actually locked. If you walk around the back of it, there is no back entrance because the building is massive. So there must be some kind of an entrance. There must be some kind of an entrance, like a hallway or something around the back. And something also, I'll show you again, right underneath where all the old Epcot logos, the Horizon logos, etc. Underneath that, there's actually some old uniforms, and I'm not sure if they're old cast member uniforms from Epcot. Futuristic looking suits. This makes me very excited being an old school Epcot fan. So take a look again, look closely, hanging on the rack, some old school Epcot clothes, perhaps? So that's very cool. You probably can't see it as well, but over there in the corner, all kind of decorative garb and decorative decor along the walls, theming of Epcot and old school Walt Disney World. I'm guessing this place has been closed for a few years, but who knows, the address is 5503. 5505 here is a different building. 5503 is there. In this complex, the, old, the uh, big humongous orange is down there. You can look at it on satellite view, try to figure it out, maybe do some internet research, and then get a hold of me, either by leaving a comment do down below, or more importantly, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, leave some comments there. If you have any idea how we can actually get a look inside of there, maybe someone that owns the building has a key 
you can go in and actually see who owns that stuff. I don't know if anybody owns it, if they've just left it there to rot. I hope not, because there's some fantastic old school Epcot Center garb inside there. That is awesome. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Check down below for my t-shirts, outandboo.spreadshirt.com. They're actually running a sale. I cannot remember what the name of the sale is, but just go to spreadshirt.com on their homepage. Type in spreadshirt.com. It'll tell you what their sale is. It's free shipping if you buy two t-shirts or more. Then go to adamthewoo.spreadshirt.com and use the code that they give you. You get free shipping. Just use that before you go to the shopping cart aspect and pay for it, and you can get free shipping anywhere. Two or more shirts, free shipping. I'll see you guys later. Remember what I said about the social networks? I'm serious. Get a hold of me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and let's have a discussion about old school Epcot and what that store was on Highway 192. What was that store? I'm very, very curious, and I would love your help. That's the beauty of these vlogs is a vicarious goodness. I show you something, and then you show me some information that you have found online. I'm going to tell you some information, and I'm going to give you some information. as an old Jerky Boys reference, if you remember the Jerky Boys. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys later. I'm going to see you tomorrow, in fact, but only if you subscribe up here, up here, wherever they put the subscribe bar. So have a good one. Bye.